A lot of people forget that Ableton has a ton of free downloadable packs for you guys that can get you started making beats. Everything from samples to loops to preset packs for different instruments to different M4L devices, all kinds of other effect racks and everything in between. So today we're covering the newest packs for Ableton Live 12 and boy oh boy are there some good ones today. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost is the performance pack, and I'm not sure why Ableton didn't talk about this one a little bit more because it's super, super dope, especially for people that are live performers. They're giving you a lot of tools to make things easier. Like you can see in this little preview, you can make your own control platform. You also have arrangement loopers, and there's just a bunch of really great things in here. There's four different plugins, but today we're gonna take a look at variations. And variations let you take a snapshot of your entire live set, so you can have different variations if you wanna go tweak a bunch of things. We're gonna start off by throwing this on the master let's go ahead and include everything and maybe we want to create a new one this new one is going to be what our current is so now when you press play and if you want to overwrite it too all you got to do is press this little button right here but this is going to look at all of our devices mixer sends clips so if we go in here and let's start playing with some of these different levels and see if it keeps track of everything so if i turn down my snare if i turn down my hi-hat maybe we boost the kick even a bit louder okay maybe we take our melodies crank up the ott to like maybe 50 percent. and then what we can do is we can go back to our main and let's say that we've listened to it and we like how it sounds can't hear the snare very well, but that's because we're doing this on purpose. Let's go ahead and press new. Let's see if it works. So if we press play, let's go to our first variation. Huge difference. So if we go back to our first one now, and we go to our melody, we should see that that value on here, yep, it's at 12%. And if we go back to our second variation, now that should be up to like 50 or 60. Yep, there we go, 50. This is just the start of it, right? This should just get your ideas flowing. You could use this on individual tracks. Maybe you're sound designing and you wanna go back and do variations. Next, let's take a look at the Granulator 3. Yes, Granulator 2 had an update for Ableton 12. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a MIDI track right here and we can go under our Granulator 3 because they give us lots of presets and their samples if you wanna use different samples. <laughs> Because when you load up the granulator three by default, it's gonna want you to add a sample to start granulating. So you could just pick one of the samples in here or you could start with one of the presets. Maybe we want a piano or keys. So let's try, ooh, bubbling synth. That kind of sounds cool. Okay, it's got some cool results. Let me go ahead and copy one of these midis down. Sounds like Star Trek. In fact, if we, if we went up an octave. So it's pretty crazy. Let's try some of these other ones. And you can start going absolutely crazy. As you can see, there's about a million and three knobs. Let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see me do a deep dive into this plugin and how you can start optimizing it and using it to its full potential. Next, let's take a look at the Lost and Found pack. And Ableton does this, they have a ton of packs, in fact, where they kind of pick a theme and then they build a bunch of stuff around it for you. And this one's no different. So this is Foley Recordings, DIY instruments, and unique percussive samples designed to infuse your productions with character and authenticity. So I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. What does it include? 28 instruments, seven drum racks, and hundreds of samples. I mean, you got my attention. Let's check this thing out. Here we go, lost and found. So we even have some demo sets, but let's check out some of the drum racks. Very, very unique. Now, I didn't come here for the drum racks. There's some great instruments in here. Let's check out some of these keys, lost keys. And here we go, they even made a whole effect track for us and we have four different variations that we can go ahead and play with and we have all these knobs, so let's check this out. Let's go ahead and pull this down an octave. Let's 
Those are fire, man. That sounds like a really, really high quality cigar box sort of a plucked sound. There you go. There's some really, really dope instruments in here. It looks like there's some MPE ones that are MPE capable if you have one of those devices. That's not a bad sound at all. I could totally make a beat with that. They also have MIDI clips in here, which is, I didn't even know there was MIDI clips. Wait, what? Oh, there's tonal sounds in here? Samples? Okay, so now it looks like they took all the instruments and they made some samples with them. Or are these one shots? These might be tons of one shots. They are. Next, let's take a look at trap drums. Yes, these are actually good trap drums. How the heck did Ableton do it? I don't know. Whoever made this, Sound Oracle, shout out to them. 808 Bass Rack. This is interesting. Let's check this out. Oh, it's got the 808 selector thing, so they probably put a bunch of different 808 samples in here, kind of like I've done with effect tracks. Let's take a look at some of the drums in here. These are kits. What I like is they've done the sound design for you. So if you load up one of these kits, you know that these sounds are probably gonna work together well, especially if you like this little loop demo they give you. They gave us a whole drum kit as well. So we got loops, looks like some hi-hat loops, drum loops, percussion loops. Oh, that's interesting. And then we got the one shots and these are fire. We got our 808s. Classic sounds. As you can hear, these are fire. Ableton stepped up its game with this one. But that's not all they did for us beat makers. Let's check out Mad Beats right here. A loop library produced exclusively for Ableton. Includes drum loops, bass, melodic loops, grooves, templates, midi grooves, all that good stuff. Wow, yeah, we got lots of stuff in here. So we got sounds, samples, grooves, drums. Let's start at the bottom here. We got some baits. Damn, so yeah, these are fire. Samples, let's see what we got here. Acoustic live drum kits. Damn, that's hard. These are all live recorded too. That's awesome. Let's check out these bass hits. Wow. Electronic drum loops. Hip hop. Individual drum hits. So we got like a one shot pack or a drum kit. Ooh, that's unique. Swells, percussion loops. You can see each one of these has multiple folders. Melodic loops. We got some drum kits. These are hard, really good for boom bath too. And we got some clips as well. And just when you thought the drum sounds were good in Ableton, they did one even better. So here we go, the golden era hip hop drums. This one's giving us some more old school sounds like boom bap. So we have a demo set there. You can open that up and see what they're doing. We got all the drum kits. Some dope sounds. Got MIDI clips. So we got the loops and one shots. I can't wait to start using this Miss Percussion. We got rides. So Ableton's not skipping on us. Now we have some stuff to make. Boom bap beats, hip hop, trap, yeah. Yo, I'm sitting here editing this and I'm like, if you pair all these drum kits with our free Trap Masters drum suite, go grab this. It's free on our website. If you have that and all these sounds, you literally have everything you need to make beats. You're set, fam. So go grab that. You can check out all the other free kits that we have on our website as well. And if you want to look at some of the sales that are going on now, check those out. And if you guys want to see all the best M4L devices, you're going to want to check out this video next.